So notice that Joe is uh, using his nose only. This is very high uh, percentage alcohol. And if you sipped it a couple of times, it would burn your palate out. You wouldn't be able to use it. And he's putting the temperature, uh, the thermometer, into the uh, port. And uh, at the beginning, he's really just trying to learn about what he's dealing with. He's not going to make the cut for quite a while, but if he has a sense of the progression of how the distillation is proceeding, it gives him the opportunity to make a more intelligent cut when the time comes. If he just walked up to it when it was very close to the time, um, he wouldn't have enough sort of like background information to make the cut perfectly. He's running the heads into a 10 liter bucket and when it's got about eight liters in it, he takes the bucket and dumps it into a holding tank. Um, he'll empty that bucket probably about three and a half or four times depending on when he makes his cut. After about um, 25 um, liters, it's getting pretty close to when he's gonna make the cut. And you'll notice he'll just be doing this more or less constantly now every uh, 15 to 20 seconds. And we tend to make our cuts conservatively. We have wonderful brandy, and um, unlike a lot of products which need a, lot, a big qu heads quantity for flavor, we don't need that because our, our, the, the body of the run has plenty of flavor. And so we make our cuts conservatively because we just don't want anything bad inside our brandy. So he's trying to hit that exact point when nothing, no more methanol, no more isobutyl alcohols, whatever it is, the things we don't like are coming off the still. Okay, that's it. That's the cut. He's closed the valve. He's closing the valve. Now, the, uh, the body of the run, the brandy we're making, is being diverted into that tube you're seeing and flowing into that rectangular stainless steel tank. That's what we will collect it in for the next um, about four hours, four and a half hours. And um, now he's putting the alcohol meter into the port where the brandy comes out of the uh, condensing coil. And so he's constantly being able to monitor the alcohol content and the temperature of the brandy that's coming out of the still. Now he's making sure we put a little filter paper um, so that the brandy passes through. It's basically just um, uh, not much different from Kleenex. Um, so that the brandy passes through this uh, filter before it goes into the holding tank. This is where it collects the uh, fatty acids and the sulfur that are precipitating in contact with the copper so that it doesn't go into the brandy.